Hi everyone, this is Seppi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a doll sheep um, on a rocky mountain in Alaska. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like these instructional videos and make sure to hit the notification button so you would be the first one to get notified when I release any of these instructional videos. Okay, let's get us started. Looking at the reference image, I decided to draw my diagonal lines for the mountain and then add some of the rocks uh, without overwhelming myself by exactly uh, copying and drawing okay. them, um, same as the reference image. I decided just to put some of those and then move on to drawing my shape. I also simplified the sh shapes and forms for the shape by turning it into a simple oval for the body and trapezoid for the neck and something more like a triangle for the head. And then I wetted the whole paper using my spray bottle as well as uh, my one inch flat brush. To add the paints and colors while the paper was wet, um, I started with yellow, which was the lightest color of my grass, and then I added sap green, viridian green, and then I went over with browns, red sienna, red umber, and then I added permanent rose to some areas because the rock is pinkish um, brown, and then I added more dark browns like red umber and some purple. The next part was to add colors for the sky, and for that I added uh, ultramarine blue and a touch of purple. Since I wetted the whole paper, I was careful not to for the paints not to bleed onto my sheep. Then I dried the whole first layer. Then I started adding my darker values on the uh, on my sheep to create a three dimensional look by adding some yellow, some purple, and some brown, but not too dark because the sheep is white. I started working on the negative spaces in between my rocks, those cracks and those spaces in between and I, for that I use some dark values um, like burnt umber and purple and sometimes I mix them with ultramarine blue and then I started darkening rocks to show the three-dimensional look to them considering where the source of light is I added those darker values uh, to darken the rocks and make them look three-dimensional i used two brushes with a smaller size i put the paint on the darker side of the rock and the with the um, second brush which was bigger i just washed off the edges of the paint that i laid down to create a three-dimensional look to darken the rocks i used the combination of burnt umber burnt sienna some purple and sometimes some ultramarine blue but i didn't use the colors too dark to darken the rocks i use very dark value colors for the spaces in between them For the rest of the painting, I just added more layers of the same colors and I added lots of negative spaces in between the rocks and I created a 3D look to them. Um, this subject, this painting needs a lot of patience to create all these details. And at the end, I outline my goat in some areas to show more definition with ink pen as well as some of the grass blades. And now my work is done. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.